so this is my first vlog, which is actually my take two of my first vlog. I couldn't get it to upload using my camera, so I resorted to iPhone. Yeah, but I'm just going to do that storyboarding, which we did last lesson. And storyboard is basically a page of boxes where you can draw each sort shot used in the scene. And you can just annotate it with duration time, framing, what shot was used. So the scene that we used for the storyboards is from Luther, which is a British crime thriller drama series. I didn't watch it myself, but I did really like the clip we used because it was quite creepy, scary, which is my kind of genre. So, um... Yeah, the scene really put you on edge. It made, as a viewer, you felt really uncomfortable. And that was mainly due to the camera angles used. Like, for example, the very first one was actually shot from behind a window. So right from the get-go, you're watching someone else. So you're put on edge. And it's a very long shot. And it lingers on a kettle. Which isn't normal, so the fact that there's a lot of silence and a lot, not a lot of movement makes you feel uncomfortable. Even the next shot is just of a cup of tea. And the fact that there's no action happening is really building up the anticipation as a viewer. There's also lots of scenes from, or shots from behind the character's head, which is unusual because you don't really see her face. So I guess that adds mystery, which is what the director was going for. The, um, yeah, my favourite shot was this one here. You probably can't see my sketch, but it's from underneath the bed, and it's just watching the back of the woman's heel. And um, initially you think, or you question it, because it just looks like an unusual viewpoint. But then, by the end of the scene, you realise that was actually the point of view of the serial killer who was waiting under the bed. And I thought it was very clever. Um, yeah. So, there was a lot of silence in the scene, except for when the serial killer is revealed. And that is when the non diegetic sound is revealed and it's basically just a really long single note droning out for ages and it is the most disgusting irritating noise that it makes you feel really uncomfortable which adds to the creepy feel of the whole scene I guess yeah so I did like the scene but I didn't really like storyboarding because it meant you had to draw quickly and I'm very OCD and everything has to be neat so I didn't like that and I also didn't like analysing to begin with because I wasn't familiar with like the terminology like I had to learn things like canted till and non diegetic which I mean I understand them now but it did take about a week to actually start learning the terminology yeah, I think that's about it. I think I've covered everything. So, bye.